I've been wanting to do this video because you all asked, is my wine any good? I want to prove it to myself and to everybody else. I can't wait to see. Stay tuned for the results. I got to get to the fair. Keep on running till the sun goes down. Run now, love it, run now. Welcome back to the channel. I've been wanting to do this video because of, remember that one comment I got, like, how do you know your wine is good? Now, I'll just start off with one thing. It doesn't matter what other people think of your wine. It only matters what you think of your wine. Do you enjoy it? Do your family and friends enjoy it? Are people coming back asking for more? That's all the judging I need. Well, it's that time of year where I'm getting this judged. Don't believe me. Let's take this to the professionals and see what they say. Look, I printed out the instructions for this. There's like three full pages and 29 categories of different kinds of wines. What I'm going to enter in that contest is my favorite wine, pineapple, Let's see where that one comes in. We got the mint. I think that's under the, the floral category. And then remember that mead? I got this mead here we're going to put in made out of honey. And then this one here. This is our juice wine made out of regular juice. So will this compete with wines that were made directly from grapes? Let's just find out. They got a lot of criteria in here. One of them that I'm not sure will work is there cannot be more than an inch of headspace. I don't know how close they're going to measure that. But these two here look like they might be a little shy. The pineapple is going to be in the multi-seed group category. Let's see what that says. It says multi-seed fruits other than berries. That's the category I'm going to put this pineapple in. We talked about this one. This is going to be in the sweet, red sweet American category for the grape juice wine. And then mead. They only have one category for mead. It has to be only honey. You can't have different flavors. And then the mint, like I said, that's going to be in the flower and blossom I'm thinking the mint is gonna fill in with that one. So each exhibitor is able to enter one 750 milliliter bottle in each of the 29 categories. Wines may be made from grapes, fruits, vegetables, grains, blossoms, honey, or a blend of those. Um, ingredients must be fresh, frozen, dried, canned, or concentrated. Wines will be evaluated on the... So for judging, the American Wine Society 20-point wine scoring system will be used to evaluate the wines. I have no idea what that's about. Let's just get these to the fair and see where we're going to be at with the judges. So many of you ask, can I buy your wine? I don't have a license for that. We're just doing this for fun on this channel. Let's get these boxed up and head out to the fair. All right, we're off, man. I hope I'm not wasting four bottles of wine on this wine contest. I better come back with something. These judges, I think they're starting judging, judging like on a Monday. Today's, I'm heading out on a Tuesday. So they want to get all the products out there right away first, I'm guessing. So here we are at the fair. I got to find where I got to drop this wine off. I think it's right up here. How you doing? I got some wine here. Okay. Did you pre-register? <laughs> no. We just got back from the competition, the wine tasting and judging of our wines. And today we're going to go over the results. I can't wait to share these results. Some good, some bad. But remember, this hobby is about not what other people think it's your wine tastes like. 
it's what you think it tastes like, right? Yeah, but it's still fun to see what other people think. Yeah, so I just did this for myself. So let's just get into the results. Let's start with the first one here. We're going to go worse to the best. And we're going to start with this one. What is that? The juice wine. The juice wine. And I remember telling you that I was going to try and fool the judges on this. Well, they didn't fall for it. They picked out the juice wine. And this juice wine, out of 20-point system, got a 12 and a half. I love this wine. I'm going to make this wine again because I think it's some of the best grape wine I've made so far. I mean, you love that one. I do like it. I do. It's, it's a cheap wine to make, but again, it got didn't get any awards. So we'll skip that one for the next time. The next one is... What? This is your mead, isn't it? This is the yeah. honey mead yeah. or honey wine, which mm -hmm. we made like a year ago. I didn't even taste this one yeah. yet. I can't wait to taste it. We're doing a taste test of the honey mead. You remember the other one? Uh, the blueberry. The mead. blueberry mead. Yes. A lot of you have been yeah. asking for that, but I'm very proud of a third place for this mead. <laughs> but third place, that point system was up to 14 points in it out of a 20. Very proud of that. If you enter any of your wines into, you know, a competition, I share your results, especially if you followed my recipe. Third place, I'm happy with that, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get to the next. Now, you've watched us make all of these wines so far on this channel. I'll put links in the description. All right, so now we're getting up to this was the herbal floral category that we entered, our mint wine. I love the mint wine. My wife thinks it tastes like toothpaste. But well, I should, just let me try it again. The judges loved it. You can see mm -hmm. we got a second place ribbon and there was a lot of wines in this category. They loved it. I got second place. You've seen us make that video. So on the points on this one, 15 points out of 20. And I should probably go over how they grade these. Um, they give uh, max points, three points for appearance, max six points for aroma. That's a big one. Six points for taste. And after taste, they only do th up to three points. I'm not going to break all these down. Yeah. Just know it totaled 15 for the mint. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to get this thing reopened back up. Yeah, I want to taste it again. Yep. Now I have to taste it again. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I was too hard on you. Now, I just did a video a couple of weeks ago. I think I just put it out this past weekend, if you've just seen this, where I made wine in 30 days. Well, I had to enter that in a fair. And this, again, this was professionally done. They had six wine tasters come in from the Wine Association in Grade D. So I got to thank the York Fair. They did it right. There were some discrepancies on my, my place on this, but I will tell you, they made it right. Let's just get to what it is. It got first place. Are we proud of that? Oh my gosh, yeah. First place. There was a lot of wine there. There was, and this was by far the heaviest category mm -hmm. of all the different categories. This was, I think, called the... It was the multi-seed. Multi-seed? Yeah, anything more than a single seed. Yeah, and I guess pineapple has more than mm -hmm. one seed. I didn't know that. First place, I was excited when I seen this. I about fell off my chair. We did a, a clean sweep. We got a first, second, and third. Don't they call that like a hat trick in hockey? I don't know. Or I just think for we only entered four bottles, and three of them placed, which was really incredible. Yep. I was so proud of you. And again, it wasn't about, to me, it wasn't about any of these awards. <laughs> it was about just seeing where if I was right and what we think is a good wine is right. And that was what it's all about. Make what you like. I, you don't have to care what anybody else thinks. But sometimes it's nice to get some recognition. Give them the score on this one. Yeah, this one got 17 and a half out of 20 points. So here they are, first, second, third, and unfortunately, sorry, Juice, I'll make you again. In fact, I can't wait to open this one back up because they're all fantastic, right? Yeah, probably have this one tonight. Are you ready to taste some of these? I want to taste 
The mint again and the mead. The mint and the mead. Yeah. So thanks for watching. You're not going to see many people on YouTube ex showing their results as far as winemaking. They're afraid to enter. We did it. Till next time, have a great day. Let's open one of these up. Yeah. Born into the sun goes